everybody, Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you with a review of my new Acer Iconia 1.8 tablet. I know it's a little bit late, but uh, as I've stated in a few of my vlogs, we've been having some issues around the house. The last week we've had to replace our entire HVAC unit and our water heater. So suffice it to say, the uh, house has been a total mess. But everything's getting back to normal now and everything's working. So now I can go ahead and continue with my normal filming schedule. What I have here, it, once again, is the Acer Iconia 1.8 tablet that I purchased at Best Buy. Um, it was on special. It was $69.99. Normally they sell for $99.99, so I got this for $30 off. I have it sitting right now on a stand. This is just something that I purchased at Dollar Tree, and it really works well. Um, it holds it nicely, and it even puts it at the proper angle, so if I'm sitting downstairs, I'm doing some laundry or something, I can go ahead and use the tablet, maybe watch some Netflix. So if you go to your local Dollar Tree uh, in the electronics department, you should be able to see these. It came with this and a uh, stylus pen, which I don't use. I wound up giving that to a friend of mine, but... Now let's get back to the tablet itself. I'm going to go ahead and show you the box real quick just to go over a few of the features of this particular tablet. Once again, you can see it's an Acer Iconia 1.8. And if my uh, camera will focus here, you guys can see that a little bit better. There we go. It is model B1-850. This is the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only model. So no 3 or 4G access in this. This will only work on the internet via Wi-Fi. Uh, running Android uh, 5.1 Lollipop. It has a MTK, uh, MT8163 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor. Um, very capable processor. Definitely not the fastest you'll find on tablets, but more than enough to uh, play some games and watch Netflix, basically do all the basic th things that I like to do with a tablet. Uh, 16 gigabytes of built-in memory. Uh, it does have an SD card slot, which I will show you. Uh, one gigabyte of RAM. Now, this is where I thought it was going to struggle because, especially running Android 5.1 Lollipop, one gigabyte of RAM does tend would normally tend to struggle. But as you will see, it really works well in this la in this tablet. Uh, it does have an 8-inch IPS screen, 1280 by 800. So this is a 720p HD screen. Resolution is perfectly fine, once again, for what I need. Now, if you are a diehard gamer, I would highly recommend getting something that uh, has a little bit higher resolution, maybe getting into the 1080, uh, 1080p range. Up here explains it has a rear 5 megapixel and a front 2 megapixel camera. Um, both these cameras are total garbage, I must say. They're uh, nothing that I would absolutely never use unless I absolutely had to. So just a fair warning to you guys, the cameras on here are really not not good for anything than your most basic photo needs. The front-facing camera is good enough for Skype, but once again, I would not vlog or anything with it because it's extremely grainy and uh, you get a lot of noise in the photo. Once again, you have the micro SD card slot. Uh, it has a 17.5 watt hour battery. I must say the battery life on this is excellent. I was very, very surprised at how long it lasted. I can get, with moderate use, I can get a two days use out of this without having to charge the battery. And last but not least, it does have 802.11, A, B, G, and N, and Bluetooth 4.0. So it's definitely got all the goodies that a modern tablet should. Now as for accessories, it's fairly basic. You do get this uh, wall charger with a detachable uh, USB cable. So you can basically plug this into your computer. And the other end is just your standard micro USB connector, which goes into the tablet here. And you can transfer your data, um, music, stuff like that. So you can hook this up to your computer very easily. Comes with just your most basic, um, basically, instruction book, which I haven't even opened yet. Basically, what's in here, I believe, is just telling you how to set up your um, Google account. The rest of the information is built into the tablet itself. Uh, let's see what this is. This is just basically uh, it telling you if you have any questions, just contact Acer directly. Don't go to the manufacturer or the uh, go to the manufacturer. Don't go to the uh, place where you purchased. In this, my case, would be Best Buy. And I think that was about it. Yeah. So that's basically it for accessories. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tablet itself. 
On the front here, like you see, you got that 8-inch IPS screen, which is very nice. Um, the, touch, the touch capability is very good. It's not like those cheaper tablets where you got to push and hold it for it to actually uh, scroll properly. I'll go ahead and activate it real quick. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but we'll get there. As you can see, it's got a nice fluid motion. I don't have to push hard, so you're not going to have to worry about breaking the screen or anything like that. Um, once again, it does have some nice features on it. Um, it, when it has the pull-down menu, which uh, basically gives you all your notifications here, which I'm going to go ahead and clear because I've read most of these already. Um, these are just some of the apps I have installed. you got Angry Birds, Netflix, uh, YouTube. I'll go ahead and play a YouTube video for you guys real quick just to show you it does, in fact, um, have a nice, smooth, fluid playback. And as you can see, it's not struggling at all. I mean, I can... You would think with one gigabyte of RAM you would see a little bit of lag, but you really don't get any lag whatsoever. And I'll just go ahead and uh, start one of my no videos here. Of course, it's going to have to play an ad first, but here we go. <laughs> I kind of regret using that picture yesterday, but eh, whatever. Yeah, so as you can see, I mean, it is perfectly fine All for right, everything. Now I have CPU Z open, and this gives you a little bit better idea of the hardware in here. Um, it's actually it actually reads as a uh, Cortex ARM A53 processor, again running at 1.3 gigahertz. Uh, right now, it's just using the one CPU because we're basically only running CPU Z. If I scroll over here, you can see some of the different information here. It is indeed a 1280 by 800 pixel. Uh, screen resolution on here. Uh, it's got two, uh, 212 DPI, that's the screen density. Total of 970 megabytes of memory and of course because it is Android 5.1 it does use quite a bit of that so even just oh, having this particular application open um, I'm still, I still only have 26% left, but once again, the, the quad-core processor definitely makes up for the lack of RAM that this particular tablet has. See, it is running Android 5.1. Um, these are just some of the different versions. You guys can pause the video if you want to read that more. Uh, if I go to the battery, you can see the voltage on this is uh, 4,121 millivolts, which is actually very good considering the... Um, the, this is a cheaper end laptop and like I said it's amazing to me how uh, long the battery lasts I get I kid you not I get two days of um, moderate use out of this before I actually have to charge the battery up and right now it's sitting at 83 percent and I actually haven't charged this since yesterday uh, just giving you the different temperatures and of course let me push away here because it's going to go ahead and open an ad again ah, that's the one thing that drives me crazy with these there you go. You can see uh, temperatures are decent um, in the 30s to maybe low 40s, which is degrees Celsius, which is very common for these. Anything under 45 or 50 degrees Celsius is considered normal when it comes to tablets. Uh, just got the one accelerometer sensor. So, like I said, it, it is considered to be a bare bones tablet, but it's more than capable for doing um, normal tasks. Unless you're a high end gamer, I would highly recommend getting something like this because for the $60, $70 you're going to pay for it, it's going to do pretty much everything you ask of it. Minus if you need something to take pictures with. Like I said, the camera is not that great on here. But at least in my case, I really never use a tablet for photography. All right, so now that I have the tablet laying down flat, you can see the various buttons. Uh, on the side here, you have your volume rocker, basically uh, up and down. Have your power button right here, which is above the volume rocker. Very, very typical uh, design. I like it. On the top here, you have your headphone jack. Next to that is the micro USB charging port. Uh, I believe that's a microphone right there. And right here is your SD, or in this case, micro SD card. I'll go ahead and pop that out real quick and show you guys. It's uh, 
The one I have in here, yes, yeah, somebody sent me a message. It's just a 16 gigabyte uh, PNY card, so nothing super fancy, but that means with the built in 16 gigabytes, I have a total of 32 gigabytes of space. Uh, nothing on the left side and pretty much nothing on the bottom. Going to the back here, you can see you have the 5 megapixel camera right on top. Once again, don't expect too much out of that. And then the Acer logo there. And the bottom right here is the uh, built-in speaker. Now, a little funny story about the speaker. The first two of these tablets that I picked up uh, had a problem with the speaker. They actually had a short in it to where if I was playing music or something or anything that had audio, you would only hear the audio every once in a while. What I'd actually have to do is put pressure on the speaker itself to get it to play at all. So there was obviously some type of a short, probably a bad solder joint. So I don't know if that was just the batch, just the batch that they got, but that's something you definitely want to look out for. Luckily, uh, third time's the charm, and this one actually worked flawlessly. Um, so this is my review of the Acer Iconia 8 tablet. I really hope you guys are enjoying these. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.